right, now let's start to talk about um, circles and other types of intersecting lines. Um, all right, so what is a circle? We define a circle as the set of all points that are the same distance away from the center. And we can use a compass to, help, to allow us to draw a circle. Um, all right, any of the points of the circle that can be drawn without lifting your uh, pencil from the paper, that's called an arc. And um, any segment, line segment with endpoints on the circle is called a chord. Now there's some special types of chords, like if the chord goes through the center of the circle, you call that a diameter. Right? And there's also special types of arcs. Notice that if, you, if I give you two points, say here, uh, B and C on the circle, you can talk about this smaller arc that uh, is in between those two points, but you can also, with those two points, discuss this larger arc there. So the smaller arc, the arc that's determined by a central angle less than 180 degrees, is called the minor arc. And um, the other arc that's determined by the larger angle is called the major arc. Right. And if you have an arc determined by a straight angle there, you call that a semicircle. Great. All right, let's uh, do some problems here. Take a look at this image. And what I want to do is find the measure of arcs. It turns out that the, we call the measure of the arc the same as the measure of the central angle, meaning if... Um, the arc is determined by these two points A and B. Here's the arc that I'm looking at. The central angle is the angle that's determined by those two points and the center of the circle here. So you call the measure of the arc the same as the measure of that central angle. So what's the measure of the arc? And draw this little symbol above AB. Um, I need to know the measure of this angle here. So what I'm going to do is um, I recognize that this is a straight line, 180 degrees. So 180 um, minus 60 is 120 degrees. Those uh, two angles add up to a straight angle. So the measure of arc AB is 120 degrees. And also, the measure of, ink of arc AF here is the same as the measure of that central angle. So the measure of arc AF is going to be 60 degrees. And the measure of the arc BC associated with um, angle BOC here, that will also be 60 degrees because... Um, this is a straight line, so these two angles, which are adjacent, should add up to 180, so this should be a 60-degree angle there. So this one's 60 degrees, and the measure of um, arc FEC right there, measure of FEC. This one should also be 120, because these two angles are adjacent and uh, add them together, you get a straight line. So if this one's 60, this one has to be 120. All right. All right. Next, let's talk about perpendicular lines. So you say two lines or two segments or two rays are perpendicular if the angle of their intersection is a 90 degree angle. And then we'll don't denote that with drawing a little box in um, the interior of the angle there. So there's some ways we can say that um, in this picture that the lines are perpendicular. You can say M is perpendicular to N. And um, this is the symbol that we use for perpendicular. We sort of draw in uh, uh, two intersecting segments there um, that are perpendicular. You can say that the line AB is perpendicular to the line BC. You can also say that like a ray could be perpendicular to a segment, if you like. 
or two segments are perpendicular to each other, or um, the uh, segment AB could be perpendicular to the line BC. Um, there's there's even more ways to say that these things are perpendicular to each other, but you get the the point that you can um, that rays line segments can all be perpendicular to each other. All right, you can also uh, determine if or there's also a notion of a line being perpendicular to a plane. So for example, here you see the shaded plane, plane alpha. And you can also look at this line here, uh, given by AB. That line is perpendicular to the entire plane. Why is that? Because you take any line going that is that belongs to the plane, going through the point A, then that line will be perpendicular to the line AB. So that's how we can determine if a line is perpendicular to a plane. Also, we can uh, discuss dihedral angles. Those are angles that are formed by when two planes intersect each other. So you measure a dihedral angle by taking a line in the one plane and a line in the other plane that intersect at a common point, P such that the, and, and then consider the line of their intersection here, AC. So you take a line DP that's perpendicular to AC, and then take a line in alpha, call that uh, DP, such that that line is perpendicular to AC. And whatever the measure of that angle is, that's what we will say the measure of the angle between the two planes is.